Hello and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to solve a very important question which is generally asked. I cannot say the same question is asked in uh, the regional mathematical Olympiad or the national mathematical Olympiad, but such type of questions are generally asked in such competitive exams. So today in this video, we are going to solve this type of questions. Are, this question and you'll come to know that what should be the standard of the preparation so that we'll go through this a uh, very important examination and with the help of uh, the solution of this question you'll come to know that the pattern of examination and the standard of the question paper for national and regional mathematical olympiad so let's start uh, with the solution of this question we are given that uh, 8 raised power x plus 27 raised power x by 12 raised power x plus 18 raised power x is equal to 7 by 6 and we have to find out the value of x so in the solution, I will convert this, I will write first of all 8 raised power x plus 27 raised power x and in the denominator we have 12 raised power x plus 18 raised power x is equal to 7 by 6 and we have to find out the value of x and we have to solve it for x. So I will simply write 8 raised power x is 2 raised power 3 that is 8 raised power x then 27 can be written as 3 raised power 3 raised power x and in the denominator we have uh, 12 can be written as 2 raised power 2 and then 3 whole raised power x plus 18 can be written as 3 raised power 2 into 2 whole raised power x is equal to 7 by 6. And this is the first step of the solution to this question. I hope you understood the first step of this question. Now, this can be further simplified as 2 raised power x whole raised power 3 then 3 raised power x whole raised power 3 and in the denominator we have 2 raised power x whole raised power 2 and then 3 raised power x plus 3 raised power x whole raised power 2 then we have in the, in the denominator 2 raised power x okay is equal to 7 by 6. Now I can change, I can put 2 raised power x is equal to a and 3 raised power x is equal to b. And on further simplification we get, let me simplify it further, 3. I get uh, a raised power 3 plus b raised power 3 and in the denominator we have a square b plus b square a is equal to 7 by 6 then i'll move here and i'll write here we have a cube plus b cube a cube plus b cube can be written as a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square okay now i will replace a cube plus b cube by a plus b then we have a square minus a b plus b square and in the denominator i can take a b that is the common term i will take it out and i can write a plus b now here we have a plus b and in the denominator we have a plus b a plus b cancels with a plus b and in the right hand side we have 7 by 6 okay now i can uh, simplify it with the help of cross multiplication i can write uh, 7 a square 
minus 7ab okay plus 7b square and on the right hand side I can write oh sorry this is 6 I forgot to write it I forgot to multiply it with 6 and uh, let's remultiply it rather cross multiply it this is 6a square minus 6ab plus 6b square and on the right hand side I have 6ab okay I hope now this is clear now I can write it as 6a square now I can take this 7ab on the left hand side it will become minus 7ab and in total I get 13ab then plus 6b square and on the right hand side I have 0 now Okay, I hope uh, this is clear. Now I can further simplify it and I can write it. This is the equation which we get 6a square minus 13ab plus 6b square is equal to 0. Okay, now I'll be solving this equation and I'll try to find out the value of a and b. Now I will split the middle term I will factorize this expression and I can write it as 6a square minus 9ab then we have minus 4ab plus 6b square is equal to 0 now I can take uh, out of these two terms I can take a uh, 3 and a that is common to both the terms I can take it out and here remains uh, 2a minus 3b okay is it clear now out of, out of these two terms i will take a uh, b out and 2 minus 2 out and i will take out b now what remains here here remains 2a then in this term i can write minus 3b this is equal to 0 i can write it as 2a minus 3b into 3a minus 2b equal to 0 which implies 2a is equal to 3b or 3a is equal to 2b now I will replace the value of a and b now we have assumed that a is equal to 2 raised to power x and b is equal to 3 raised to power x now I will be replacing a and b by 2 raised to power x and 3 raised to power x this is 2 into 2 raised to power x and on the right hand side 3 into 3 raised to power x or 3 instead of a I can write 2 raised to power x and on the right hand side I have 2 into instead of b I can write 3 raised to power x now this is 2 raised to power x plus 1 and on the right hand side I have 3 raised to power x plus 1 or here I can uh, divide both sides by uh, 3 and a 3 and 2 I get uh, 2 raised to power x minus 1 is equal to 3 raised to power x minus 1 then on further simplification I can write it as uh, 2 by 3 raised to power x plus 1 is equal to 1 or 2 by 3 x raised to power 2 by 3 raised to power x minus 1 is equal to 1 now I'll be replacing this one by 0 raised to power same power which we have on the left hand side so I'll be writing here 2 by 3 raised to power x plus 1 and I'll be replacing 1 by 2 by 3 raised to power 0 because 2 by 3 raised to power 0 is 1 or and in the another equation we have 2 by 3 raised to power x minus 1 and I'll be replacing 1 by 2 by 3 raised to power 0 when bases are same in case of equation we can equate uh, the powers so which implies x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 is equal to 0 which implies or you can say or here x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to 1 
so this is the solution uh, to the given equation you know what was the equation equation was uh, 8 raised power x plus 27 raised power x and in the denominator we have 12 raised power x plus 18 raised power x and uh, let's check whether the equation whether the solution is uh, satisfying the given equation or not so what was the equation equation was 8 raised power x plus 27 raised power x and in the denominator we have 12 raised power x plus 18 raised power x is equal to 7 by 6. Let me check whether this solution is satisfying the given equation or not. If we uh, replace x by 1, this will become 8 plus 27, that is 35, okay. And in the denominator, we have uh, 12 plus 18, that is 30, okay. 5 7s are 35 and 5 6s are 30. Now, 7 by 6 is satisfied, okay? Now, if I check whether uh, this uh, minus 1 is satisfied or not, you can check it by your own self. And I know, I have already checked it, x is equal to minus 1 also satisfies the given equation. So, these are x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 1 are the two solutions to the given equation. I hope you understood each and everything involved in the solution of this question. And this is all for today. We'll be meet meeting in the next lecture. Till then, goodbye.